While Upper Michigan dodged the bullet on the severe thunderstorms, and that included large hail, strong winds, and tornadoes that stayed to the south of us across Wisconsin and Lower Michigan, we still got some gusty winds and heavier rain. Bonnie V from just north of Manistique sent this in here, and we will go ahead and replay this video here. And you can see that we do have the stronger, gustier winds, some of the heavier rain coming in, but definitely this storm is not severe by any means, just some good downpours and also some good gusty winds. All right, let's take a look at one more weather photo, and this is from Mary Ann Taylor of NEMA here, and she had two sandhill cranes visit her today, one as the rain was going on, and then again this afternoon, the crane showed on up here, and this time the sun was out and started to clear on out, and that was a story pretty much for all of us across upper Michigan this evening. We got clearing skies and lower humidity. Check these temperatures out. We got temperatures still on the warmer side. We're still in the 60s to around 70, but we got 58 degrees for Lando Lakes, Wisconsin. And as we look at our dew points, that's the big story tonight. Check these dew points out. Drier air is moving in from the west, still hanging on to some humidity along Lake Michigan and in the eastern UP. But this is going to be the trend as we go through the rest of the night tonight. Three things to know. Like I said, big weather story for all of us. The less humidity for tonight, tomorrow, and definitely for Friday. Tomorrow it's warm with wind, but it's a cooler Friday. Check these temperatures out for tomorrow highs in the 70s and 80s, but it's a cooler day. Some UP spots, especially near Lake Superior, east of Marquette, may not get out of the 60s. And then it's a slow warm up on Saturday, and then it's warmer temperatures for Sunday and into next week. Your extended forecast for your UP community coming up here in just a bit. Clearing skies for the rest of the night. Temperatures, most spots around 60 or the 60s. Some spots, especially as you go inland west of Marquette, Land Lakes, the prime example, already in the 50s. Those spots could fall into the 50s as well. Tomorrow, we're looking at temperatures in the 70s and 80s. A storm might fire in the eastern UP, east of Newberry, but all in all, we do stay dry. Tomorrow night, cool to chilly conditions. Some inland spots, especially as you go west of Marquette, could fall back into the 40s. And then as we take you in to Friday, check these cooler temperatures out with partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies. Highs across the UP on Friday in the 60s and 70s. And then it is a cool to chilly night, Friday night and into early Saturday morning. But Saturday, temperatures do rebound nicely. All right, for your wind gust forecast, we're going to see the winds pick up the pace here out of the west tomorrow afternoon, and that might mean some dangerous swimming currents, Marquette and Elger County, especially for the beaches east of Marquette and possibly even Schoolcraft County as well. We'll talk about it here in just a second, but winds could gust tomorrow over 30 miles per hour out of the west, especially in the Keweenaw Peninsula. And then as we take you in to Friday, it's going to be a cooler day and we'll have some gusty winds as well. Let's take a look at your UP community extended forecast here, but just wanted to say dangerous swimming conditions, Marquette and Elger County beaches, potentially Schoolcraft County beaches tomorrow, but I think the bigger issue for dangerous swimming and rip currents will be for the beaches east of Marquette into Elger County. Now your UP community extended forecast, Marquette and Marquette County, we're looking at temperatures in the 80s as you go inland for tomorrow, and then for your Friday, we're looking at temperatures cooling off to around 70 or the 70s, perhaps the 60s along Lake Superior and then the slow warm up begins for Saturday, Sunday and Monday. For the eastern UP, we're looking at temperatures in the 80s, inland 70s, closer to the lake shores. And then for Friday, temperatures in the 70s, but 60s, Munising, Grand Marais, north of Newberry, 70s, a nice day for Saturday. And then into the 80s, we go away from the shorelines of the Great Lakes for Sunday and Monday. For Delta County and Escanaba, we'll see temperatures in the 80s for our Thursday and then cooling off into the 70s for Friday and Saturday. Back into the 80s, we go for Sunday and Monday for the interior west and along the Michigan Wisconsin border. Temperatures around 80 for Thursday, 70s for Friday, and then Saturday, Sunday and Monday around 80 or the 80s for daytime high temperatures. A couple of chilly nights on the way though for Thursday night into Friday morning and then Friday night on into Saturday morning. Last stop, the Keweenaw Peninsula. We'll see temperatures that will be around 80 as you go well inland for Thursday and then a cooler day with no humidity for Friday and then warming up slowly Saturday and then warmer for Sunday and also Monday. Becca, 